Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Bob Key TV. A lot to get to, let's get right into the gift that keeps on giving the Famke van der Dreschke story <laughs> and uh, her wild Chupi Tula family from Belgium. Uh, she was the first person to uh, run afoul of the mechanical doping or having a motor in your bike. Um, bike found during the world championships in her pits with a motor in it. So uh, she had a hearing set up where the UCI was going to assess her penalty uh, and and get an, either an admission of guilt or a full explanation of why that transpired. Um, but rather than do that, Famke van der Dreschke has decided to retire from the sport and not address any of the charges that the UCI had or face any sanctions or penalties. Um, uh, so it would seem as if Famke Van der Dreschke is off the hook, uh, can get back to her uh, regularly programmed life, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if she ever is allowed to race bikes again. Um, so that could be the end of the story, but I have a feeling it won't be because if you're going to cheat in this way, if you're going to have a motor in your bike at a bicycle race, especially the World Championships, but any bike race, it requires a whole team of people to make that happen. You cannot do that by yourself as a bike racer because the mechanic has to be involved. If the mechanic is involved, the coach is involved. If the coach is involved, the manager is involved. The manager is involved, the race organizer and the sponsors are involved. So those people have to be held accountable also by the UCI. And let's hope that we get a statement from the UCI about this and whether or not they impose a penalty that Famke, you know, if she never races bikes again, will it will be unlikely for her to face that. Uh, but everybody else involved, if they want to continue to be involved in the sport of cycling, they have to face these charges. They have to make an admission of guilt or an explanation of exactly what happened. Uh, so more, <laughs> more on the story that will never end. Um, so thanks everybody um, for your comments. Uh, let me know what you think. And subscriptions, I gotta have them and the thumbs up if I'm gonna be able to keep doing this. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you can find links to all of these videos. And uh, that's a good way to find out uh, what you can expect content-wise from Baki TV. Thanks everybody. You have I got a new weekly installment. It's going to be all about the races, the racers, all the gossip and all the headlines. Also, tweet of the week. See who's beefing on Twitter and the social media. And it's going to be called Bob Key's Broomwagon.